Right now, we are living in one of the craziest periods in the history of humans. That is a fact. Everywhere that you look, people are losing their jobs, businesses are shutting down, and to some of us, maybe it feels a little bit like the entire world is coming to an end. And hidden amongst all of this chaos is one of the most important ideas that you will ever learn. Guys always want to know, how can I become better in my career, or my social life, or what can I do to make girls chase me? Since the beginning of time, humans have always been searching for a magic pill, or a magic potion so to speak. Just take this once a day, and all of your problems will melt away. The truth is that there is no magic pill, but there is something even better. Now, more than any other time in our lives, we have quickly realized just how tough this world can be. Every single day, somewhere in the world, a lion picks a target, pounces on it, and then eats it. And when it comes to lions, there's no police to call. There's nobody that the prey can call to say, hey man, I really don't want to get eaten today. Can you send somebody out to save me? There's no lion homicide investigators who are going to come looking for the other lion who was hungry and decided to grab himself a little bite to eat. This is survival of the fittest in its rawest, purest form. And this is simply the way that the world works. Now all of us, at many points in our life, are going to come across situations where we are not the lions. And it is in those moments that we will make the decisions that are the most important ones that we can make. Now fortunately, we don't have it quite as bad as animals in the wild, but both worlds share many of the same consequences for making the wrong decision. The success and results that you get when it comes to making money depend on whether or not you can do one specific thing. The results that you get in terms of whether girls find you attractive, whether or not you do well in social situations, they too depend on your ability to do this one specific thing. Now during the winter, the Alaskan wood frog has a unique adaptation that allows him to survive where many other animals would perish. And what he's able to do is freeze his entire body solid. And while he is frozen, his lungs and even his heart stops beating. And this adaptation allows him to survive when temperatures drop as low as minus 80 degrees. And when spring comes around, the Alaskan wood frog unfreezes himself and literally comes back to life. Right now, pretty much everybody on this planet is sitting right in the middle of winter, both literally and figuratively speaking. And if you're not an Alaskan wood frog, you're going to end up as another victim of nature's cleaning process. Now, throughout our lives, we will end up in situations where something unexpected happens and we have to make a decision. Oftentimes, it is whenever things are going great that winter seems to come down on us and we have to quite literally adapt or perish. This happens to us all the time during social situations, in our career, and in our daily lives at work. That time in school when you found out that the girl you liked actually liked your best friend instead. Those are the times where we must call upon one of the most important, if not the most important skill that a man can have. It is these situations when we are the most vulnerable or the most exposed that shape us into either the man that we want to become or the type of man that we don't want to become. One of my favorite quotes that comes straight from the Marines is, Improvise, adapt, and overcome. All of your favorite movie stars like James Bond and similar archetypes are all based on one skill and how proficient you are in that skill. It's not an accident that James Bond always gets the girl, but it's also not the result of careful meticulous planning because we all know that we can come up with the most detailed plan to do anything and at the end of the day it all falls apart and goes nothing like the way that we had planned it. When I created this YouTube channel, originally it was supposed to be about one thing and then as I started making videos, it went a completely different direction in a way that I had never planned for. When I started, I had a detailed plan for how it was going to play out, but it simply didn't work like that. Somewhere down the line, the plan fell apart, winter set in, and like the frog, or like the marines, I had to improvise, adapt, and overcome. The interesting thing here is that all three of these words are just different ways of saying the same thing. Even right now, as I make this video, things are always changing and thanks to technology, they are changing more quickly now than ever before. And that is precisely why I have decided to quit YouTube. Just joking. But the point here is that things in our life are constantly changing or constantly in flux. We can have the most detailed plan ever and it's almost like every plan is designed to fail from the beginning because we are trying to map out a set of mathematical probabilities before they actually happen. Or in other words, we are trying to predict the future. Now some of us are really good at doing this, but most of us suck at it. So what is the solution to this problem? What is the solution that we can use to fight back against the uncertainty that is literally woven into the atomic particles that make up the entire universe that we live in? Which is where every situation that we will ever encounter takes place. Well, it's funny that you should ask because I've actually got a great answer for you. The thing that sets successful men apart from those who are unsuccessful whether it's becoming more attractive, making more money, or any other arena of life that you can think of, it's the same exact thing that James Bond does every single time that a bad guy pops out from behind a door and tries to kill him. 
And it's the same thing that the Alaskan wood frog does when the cold winter begins to creep into the forest where he lives. And it is the exact thing that you have to do if you want to be successful in anything that you choose to do. What you have to do when the plan falls apart and the girl that you thought liked you chooses to go home with your best friend instead is improvise, adapt, and overcome. But you're probably asking yourself, how? How can we actually do this? It was Darwin himself who said, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change. Movie characters like James Bond don't have the biggest muscles and they're definitely not the most intelligent guys out there. Thanos actually had some of the biggest muscles of any supervillain out there, but he wasn't the guy who ultimately won in the end, was he? The guys who win at anything that they do, whether it's a social situation, making music, making money, the guys who end up winning are the ones who are the best at adapting to change. And the best way to train your adaptability involves doing two simple things. These two things are changing your thought process and forcing yourself to take risks. Imagine if everybody just chose to give up after Thanos snapped his little gauntlet. Oh wait, they did. But then they snapped out of it and they did two things. Number one, they forced themselves to risk everything. And number two, they changed the way that they did things or the way that they thought about it. To improvise, adapt, and overcome, you have to take on some risks and you have to change the way that you do or think about things. If all the girls that you meet end up going home with your buddy instead of you, then it might be time to meet girls with a friend who doesn't do that. When you realize that rent and food have become so expensive that you can no longer afford them working a low paying job, it might be time to completely rethink how you make money. And after you begin to change the way that you do things, you have to take on some risk. Progress is not made without risk. 10 years ago, winter set in in my own life. And since I'm not actually an Alaskan wood frog, really my only option was to adapt or perish. And in that moment, I decided to take a huge risk while also changing the way that I did things or the way that I thought about my situation. And when I did this, I had no idea whether it would ever pay off or not. But in the end, it turned out so much better than I ever could have imagined. When NASA scientists were out there creating a giant rocket ship to send man to the moon, they had absolutely no idea whether it was going to pan out or not, but they still took the risk and changed the way that they thought about the situation in order to eventually get man to the moon. And at the end of the day, it paid handsomely to do this. Every day in our own life, we will face situations, whether it's a social situation or something that happens at work or at school. And when winter sets in, we have to ask ourselves, do we want to adapt to the situation and force things to come out in our favor? Or do we simply want to be like everybody else who ends up perishing amongst the chaos? So whenever life throws a wrench in your plan, as it always does, never give up and instead choose to improvise, adapt, and overcome. This is by far the most powerful skill that a man can have. And with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.